With the glue dry, I could then cut out the body shape on the bandsaw. Then I used a hand plane to get both faces of the body as flat as I could. And I used my speed square to keep checking progress. Then I used a card scraper to get the surface nice and smooth. I sanded the edges that I could reach on the belt sander. My electric file came in real handy to shape all of the inside curves and crevices. Next I needed to figure out how deep I wanted my neck cavity to be set into the body. I figured that this step was really important for getting the action right for the guitar, so I was trying to be as accurate as I could. But you'll find out later in this series that I managed to completely screw this up. More on that later. So what I did was to take a series of measurements from my Telecaster and use those to work out the right depth for the neck cavity on my new guitar. I measured the height of the neck from the body, the height of the bridge from the body, and the height of my new bridge at its lowest height setting. On my Telecaster the bridge height was 12mm, plus 3.2mm for the height of the pit guard, so 15.2mm. The height of the neck from the body was 6.45mm. And the difference between those two figures, 15.2mm and 6.45mm, is 8.75mm. Now on the new guitar, the bridge height at its lowest setting was 18.53mm. So I deducted 8.75mm from that to give me 9.75mm, which should be the correct neck height from the body for my new guitar. My new neck and fretboard measured 33.37mm thick in total at the body end, so I deducted 9.75mm from that figure to give me 23.62mm, which I thought should be the right depth for cutting my neck cavity. You'll see later on that this really didn't work out for me, but I thought it was worth explaining the thought process behind it. To be honest, I'm still not really sure where I went wrong. So next I set my combination square to 23.62mm and marked up the cavity depth onto the body. I could then reuse the neck joint template I'd made for the original body. I wrapped some tape around my Forstner bit to reference the cavity depth so that I wouldn't drill in too deep, and then drilled out as much of the material as I could with the drill before bringing in the router. I hot glued in place an offcut of the oak body. This would give the base of my router more support while making the cut, so that when I removed the plywood template for the final pass, it would be supported from all four sides when making the full depth cuts, instead of just three. You can see from this footage that there was a little bit of tear out on the bottom corner, which I'll need to repair later. Then I could square off all of the corners with a chisel.
To sort out that corner tear out, I first leveled off the surface with a chisel. Then I took the corner off an off cut of oak. I sanded it flat and glued it on there, holding it in place with some masking tape. With the glue dry, I could then shape it with a chisel. And then rub in some glue and oak sawdust to hide any small gaps. Then I rounded over the edge using an electric file. Next I rounded over the edges of the body with a router. The router bit burned through the end grain of the oak so I did some sanding to get rid of the burn marks. I used a ruler held up against the edges of the neck to make some marks which would help me position the pickups and the bridge. I bought these humbucker pickups from eBay. They had letters stamped on the back to tell you which was the neck pickup and which was the bridge pickup. So I started with the neck pickup, held it upside down onto the guitar and traced around the plastic pickup ring using the lines that I'd drawn onto the body to centre it. Then I measured up the inside of the pickup to work out how big I'd need to create the cavity for it to sit in. So I marked that up. I used the same dimensions to mark up a piece of plywood so that I could create a template for routing out the cavity. I cut out the template on the bandsaw and then filed the inside edges to make sure that they were straight. I measured up the pickup depth and it looked like I'd need about 23 millimeters of depth. So I set up a temporary depth gauge on my Forstner bit using a piece of tape. Then I could start drilling out some of the excess material. I could then come back with the router and take about three passes to get the cavity to the correct depth. To decide on placement of the bridge pickup, I'd first need to figure out where the bridge would be placed. So I measured up 646mm from the nut slot, made marks at both sides of the neck, and joined the two marks with a line. Then I could position the template again and route out the second pickup cavity in the same way as before, although this pickup required slightly more depth, about 25mm. I'm <laughs> sorry.
Next I'd need to drill some deeper holes for the pickup adjustment bolts which were about 30mm long from the pickup ring. 